Hi and welcome to another Art Journal layout with Vilna. And I know I'm showing this clip over and over again, but it's basically just how to prep your pages. So I use the Strathmore books and I love them because they're nice and thick. You can find a um, link to them in my descriptions of my products. I would actually link you the exact book that I use. A nice and heavy paper. And when you do, when you prep your pages with gesso, like I did here with a card, it really makes a very thin film over the page, which is just brilliant if you want to use wet medium on it or media on it. So it's fantastic. You can dry it, but um, I've said it so many times, I love to, to work in four or five books at the same time. Because I group my art journal pages because it's so messy. So I just like to um, work and get the mess over and done with. And, and that's why I do a lot at one stage. So I'm using this beautiful stencil that I bought from scrapbook.com. And I think it's by Dean, Dina Wakely. I think I don't know and I'm using molding paste light molding paste and I'm just going to add a bit of texture to my page on one side and as well on the other side so you can see I'm dividing the stencil more or less in two and I just want to add and this works like a charm it's so lovely to work with I love the tone on tone here and you just want to set it aside for around about an hour just to dry completely. And just scraping off my stencil so that it's easier to clean this way. And then I would probably wash it with warm soapy water and put it away. Because stencils are one of those lovely things that you can use again and again and again. And I love the polypropylene stencils because you can wash them with water so that's just lovely actually the effects that you get when you clean it is also very nice so sometimes i don't want to throw those away but instead i want to keep them and use those little accidents on layouts and things So the next thing I'm going to do is a little transfer of a scripture that I wrote out and you just want to cut it out you'll see that I use the mirror image and print that one out and then only Mod Podge on the ink side lay it down but don't put Mod, don't put Mod Podge on top of that just lay it down flat and work it in with your fingers and um, don't put anything on top of because otherwise it's hard when you put water on it to get it off it's hard it doesn't want to get off so keep it clean on top but squeeze it real tight so that everything connects really well and that way you'll get the best image transfer possible so once that is dry um, we're going to just use a little bit of water and get rid of the paper and then you'll see the the writing will shine through i don't always get it right i mean i'm still practicing okay so don't judge me i'm not giving myself out as an expert on uh, image transfer a little yellow paint and uh, just a little water to make it flow and I love this effect. I, I used it in on a previous page and I don't see anything wrong with repeating yourself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm repeating myself on my original pages. But I think every time it looks different, right? Because, you know, you do different things and just a bit of orange paint and look how pretty it flows. And once that is dry, then we're going to remove the image transfer with a little bit of water. So that's dry. Look how beautifully 
the ink dried. So just spritz it with water and then you can remove it. And you can see where there was some mud patch on the back of the image transfer. And that makes it a little harder. It looks like I'm rubbing really hard, but I'm not. My fingers are barely touching the page. Just do it lightly, the lightest touch possible. And again, I'm not going for perfection here. Um, like I said, I'm still figuring out the best way to do an image transfer and I will figure it out. But usually it takes time <laughs> and a little patience. So just a little bit more water and there you go. And when I was doing my journaling today, I could read everything perfectly that was written on there. So that's okay. Picking up the pieces of debris and now we're just going to embroider on this page. Okay, so you can see I painted with acrylic paint. I did in the end. I couldn't remember. it. I've done the video so long ago. I couldn't remember that I actually painted over the image transfer. Obviously, I wasn't happy with it. Um, but now I'm just coloring in with a orange pencil, just enhancing a bit. And now I'm going to stuck down that same psalm on the same place again. Uh, just with a little bit of Mod Podge. And really in the end that works also actually the best. And no wonder I could have read it well. <laughs> because it was actually uh, just stuck down. And um, I'm just going to blend in the edges um, with a little paint so that it blends in with the page.
and again I'm using an image from my spring bundle that you can download and print um, at home from iHeart Studio and I'm going to just add it here just for that little bit of a um, a focus point and I think it it just works so well I printed these on watercolor paper so they're nice and sturdy but um, any paper will work obviously and of course a little bit of Mod Podge I just love this stuff you know what I discovered is you can actually uh, write on it obviously I do if you can look at the final pa uh, pictures of the art journal page on vilnafirstenberg.com you know I just love the fact that you can actually write on it with a pigment writer and it glides on it's so wonderful to work on I think this is the one medium that I'm that I love the most let's just make it official <laughs> today okay so anyway um so yeah this is the going to be the last of uh, our journal layouts for a little bit I might return with the art journaling in the fall I don't know I'll, I have to decide exactly what I want to do but I am having a very um, meaningful class on art journaling on big picture classes that's the plan and I'm working on it now so if you're loving the art journaling um, please go and look at it on bigpictureclasses.com okay but I'll see you soon with another Wednesday with Vilna video bye bye